Hello and welcome to this video on what is statistical mediation analysis. My name is Christian Geiser, I'm an instructor and statistical consultant with Quantfish and on this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials. I usually talk about multivariate statistics such as path analysis, factor analysis, structural equation modeling and multi-level analysis. If this is something that interests you, please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, don't forget to check out the description for additional resources, including a free course on path analysis and mediation with M plus that I offer through Quantfish. So in this video, I want to give you a brief conceptual introduction to mediation analysis. So let's get started. In this picture here, you can see a path diagram with three variables X, M and Y. And you can see that X is a predictor variable, or we say an exogenous variable. It is not influenced by other variables in this model, but it influences M and Y. So Y is our outcome or dependent variable here, and M is called a mediator variable. And we'll see shortly why M is called a mediator variable in this model. When do we use statistical mediation analysis? What is it good for? It is used when we suspect that there might be indirect effects of one variable or multiple variables on one or more outcome variables that go via some other variable. So in this case, the indirect effect here would go from X to Y via M. And an example of this could be, let's say if we measure uh, sugar consumption in individuals and we suspect that too much sugar isn't good for you, it'll cause diabetes over time, so sh excess sugar consumption leads to diabetes. However, eating too much sugar does not directly cause diabetes, but over time it leads to what we call insulin resistance, where the body that tries to process all the sugar and um, produces a lot of insulin over time becomes resistant to the storage hormone insulin that tries to get rid of the sugar in your blood and then over time the cells don't react so well to insulin anymore and then blood sugar levels in the blood rise causing diabetes. So the indirect effect then of sugar um, on diabetes would be via insulin resistance and of course there could be other processes also um, in play that I don't show here or that I, that I don't consider here. And so then in this model it would be of interest to determine and quantify among other things the indirect effect from X to Y and I want to show you how this works. For that we have to look at some equations to understand what this model implies mathematically. So mathematically, you can think of this model as a multivariate regression analysis that has a regression equation for each dependent variable in the model. In this model, we have two dependent variables, M and Y. M depends on X and Y depends on both M and X. As you can see here, the arrows come or point from X to M and Y and then from M to Y. And so there are two regression equations, one for each outcome variable. So first of all, we have Y. And so Y has an equation with an intercept term I zero Y. And then there is um, a coefficient C prime that characterizes the direct effect of X on Y. And there's also an effect of M on Y that is measured here or quantified by the B regression coefficient. And there's an error variable epsilon Y as well. So we may expect that not all of the variability in the diabetes outcome may be explained here by X and M. So this is just simply a multiple regression equation. It could be a linear regression if your outcome variable is continuous or it could be a logistic regression equation if your outcome variable is categorical. And then we also have an equation for M here because M is dependent on X. So sugar causes insulin resistance. And so there's a second equation for M, which is a bivariate regression equation, again with an intercept term I0M and then an A coefficient 
for the relationship, the linear relationship here between x and m, if we're assuming that m would be a continuous variable and if this is a linear regression model here. And then there's also an error term for m because again, we're not necessarily assuming that we're able to explain m completely by x. So this system of equations here that defines this model can be estimated using path analysis in a single step. So you could use a path analytic model, which is available in programs for structural equation modeling, such as M plus or the Lavan package in R that allows you to simultaneously estimate the coefficients of both these regression equations in a single step, or you can do it sequentially for at least some models where you estimate one regression equation at a time, and then you get the, the coefficients that way. Of course, it's more practical to do it in one step, which is what path analysis allows you to do. Now let's take a look at the direct and indirect effects in this model. So there's a direct effect here from X to Y in this model that is uh, quantified or can be quantified with that C prime coefficient. So that characterizes the direct effect of X on Y and that coefficient may actually be zero if the effect from X to y is completely mediated by m, then the c prime coefficient may be zero or close to zero. Furthermore, there's also an indirect effect of x on y via m, and so that effect is quantified as the product of the a and b regression coefficients here, the product, and we want to take a closer look why that is the case. So why can we measure statistically the indirect effect in a mediation model as the product of two or more regression coefficients? For that, we have to take a look at um, the equations in a little bit more detail and how we can combine them. So again, we're gonna first take a look at our equation for the outcome variable y with the two predictors x and m. And then second, we have again our equation for m, which is only dependent on x. And now what we can do here is we can take what we have for m in the second equation and insert it for m in the first equation. Then we have a combined equation that first of all looks like this, where the term here in parentheses is what we have for m in the second equation. Now, that doesn't help us very much. It helps us a little bit because it shows us that when we do that, y is really dependent on x in two ways. So there's one way that x enters here with the c prime coefficient, and then again, it enters here another time with a, and then you can see already the b here in front of the parentheses, the multiplier is here. And so we'll see that when we expand that, we obtain a product of coefficients. So let's take a look at that in a little bit more detail. So what happens when we expand this term that I showed you here that is now here shown in brackets. So in that situation then when we expand that and rearrange it, we have a complex intercept. The intercept consists of two components, the intercept for y plus b times the intercept for m. Furthermore, we have the direct effect C prime of X on Y and we have the indirect effect A times B of X on Y. So you can see again X here enters into the model for Y in two different ways, directly with C prime and indirectly with the product of the A and B coefficients. And we have an error term that also consists of two components, B times the error term for the mediator and then the error term for Y. And so one key goal of mediation analysis is to determine the indirect effect A times B, or when you have more mediators, then this can be a more complex term that may be the product of multiple uh, regression coefficients. There could also be multiple mediators, so there could be different indirect effects 
in a model and so the goal is to quantify those and often also the goal is to test them for statistical significance. I have additional videos here on this channel where I show how this can be done, for example, in the M plus software. And then also in my free workshop that I offer through Quantfish on path analysis and mediation, you can also find the details on how to do that. I hope you found this video useful to learn about the basics of statistical mediation analysis. If you did, then please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.